Hi guys, it's Janine and I'm back again with the Quick Slice and the Veggie Spiralizer. I've had several of you request these items. So this is the Veggie Spiralizer. This is our Quick Slice and I'm gonna show both of them to you right now. So with our Veggie Spiralizer, it will spiralize your veggies. We're gonna just take a little piece of this potato here. It'll do three different um, slices. So it'll do a ribbon one, it'll do a skinny fettuccine one, and then a linguine type one. And the linguine one is the one we're gonna do today. I put the little blade in the back here and it's reversible. You just turn it up and down depending on which one you wanna do. And I'm gonna stick the potato on, press down, cause that's gonna hold it in place. Then you just hold it here and you start going around and you'll see the potatoes come right out. Alrighty, woo! And that's what it looks like. So throw these in your pot with a little bit of butter. If you're being really bad, you could put a little bacon and cheese and bake those up in the oven. Um, but you can do, you can do all kinds of things like potatoes, apples, onions. You could do a uh, zucchini to make zucchini linguine. Now we're just gonna pull this up and pull it off and it has a little piece that's left there. Then when you wanna change the blade, you just unscrew this and this pops right out. So you can see the blade, how it has a bigger side and a smaller side. And then if you just do it without anything in here, you get a kind of a ribbon blade. So let me see if I can show you what that one looks like. See that? So there you go. So if you're trying to eat healthier and you want some zucchini instead of pasta, you're gonna to want to give that a try. And I'll show you in the catalog as soon as I finish the quick slice some of the other things you can do. We actually have an e-cookbook, and I believe it's on my Janine's Foodie page, if you go up to the files. It shows you all different things that you can spiralize, and it actually gives you some recipes for different sauces to go with it. So I encourage you to check that out, it's awesome. So, quick slice. I'm just gonna tell you, if you eat, if you eat healthy, you're eating a lot of salads, you're gonna love this. It saves you so much time in the kitchen, because not only could you slice things like peppers, which we're gonna do today, you could take an onion, slice it in half, and slice it on here. I'll show you this little piece of potato. You just put it on. Now, here's how you do it. You don't just shove it down. You actually rock it back and forth, like so. And here's what you have. You could actually do french fries with those if you wanted. Well, let me show you these peppers. Now, I only have the little tiny ones in my fridge today. I normally do my big peppers this way but I can get four of them on because they're so little. So I just rock it back and forth. And there is all of our sliced peppers. So if you wanted chopped peppers, you would just pick those little guys up and turn them the other way and slice it again. And then you'll have chopped peppers, okay? But I use this for all kinds of things. So I do my carrots, I do celery, onion, eggs, avocado, mushrooms, strawberries. I literally slice everything. Um, hearts of palm, uh, black olives. When I'm doing up my salads, because I try to prep them for the week, this is my best buddy, that and the salad spinner. So you're gonna love that. And I'll tell you where you can find these in the catalog. If you're on one of my virtual parties, remember to look for that virtual party link. It will actually allow you to put the catalog right on your phone or your computer and you can flip right through the pages. So. The spiralizer, it's item $11.79. This sells for $62 or free or half price when you do your own party. This one right here, the quick slice, it's item $11.81, sells for $34 worth every single penny. And let me just show you real quick in the catalog here, some of the different things that has been done on that spiralizer. Beets, I forgot to tell you about beets. I love doing my beets in there. They come out amazing. Carrots, all kinds of things. So I hope you enjoyed those two products today. If you have any questions, just let me know, post them there. I do wanna just show you one more little trick. I only have a little pepper, but 
I want to go ahead and slice this one, so I may as well show you guys. I'm going to use our Santoku knife. I like to cut the bottom of it off so I have a flat surface to work with. And then you just grab your knife and you kind of go down the sides, trying to miss all of those seeds, just by curving it out and down. And now you see, now this was a little one, so I got a little piece of it, but see how we got, we didn't have to mess with a lot of the insides. And then you can just slice it right on your little quick slice. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Enjoy that.